Good morning, everyone. It's the Daily Drawing Club. If you're watching in replay, make sure you say hello in the comments. Let me know that you're watching this. I just enjoy seeing your comments and uh, hearing from you today. We're going to do a drawing challenge. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Question that came in um, on a conversation I had back and forth with someone was, are you too old to draw? So we'll talk about that a little bit. And uh, today's drawing challenge is make a monster with a flowers theme. So we're going to draw a monster of some kind. One of my favorite things to do, actually. And some kind of theme of a flower. Maybe he's made of flowers. I'm not sure. So I'll do the how I draw my monsters tips and as we do this. So I'm going to set a timer in a second for the I'm going to set a timer for a second. My cat decides to go out all the time. As you know, some of you. But first, before we set that timer, how's everyone doing this morning? Hope you're going to have a great day. Let's see Steph, Guy, Lola, Ken, Larry, David, Sarah. So the morning crew is here. Thanks for watching, guys, and drawing along. I'm going to go ahead and set my timer and kind of get right into Make a Monster Flowers edition, flower theme. Okay, timer is set. I'm going to give myself 30 minutes here. <clears throat> and this is how I usually start now. I will be talking about this are you too old to draw thing because it's you know, uh, kind of an interesting topic that comes up a lot. And um, I have some thoughts on it. Okay. So how I usually draw monsters out of my head, really, you can't really go wrong. It's kind of a fun thing to do, really, honestly. I'm going to just start with some scribbles, real small, like that. And, you know, I'm thinking of, like, it's going to have some roots, something like that, like petals, of course. This is also a time to kind of think about how flowers work or constructed, maybe. What kind of flower, you know. I'm just going to draw some, like, cool-looking composition shapes and I'm going to pick one to go with and uh, I think the first one was just it's kind of calling out to me a little bit do another one here okay I think we go with that first one actually sometimes it's always the first one that that uh, kind of pops off so I'm just going to go ahead and Select that. I'm going to cut and paste because I kind of want it to be on its own layer here. And I'll save the little doodles I did just because why not? No doodle left behind. We, we leave no doodles behind. Morning, Jim. The question today, or the thing, the conversation that came in was are you too old to start drawing? I'm too old to draw, too old to learn how to draw. I'm drawing a monster with a flowers theme right now. And uh, I'm going to do that for the next 27 minutes or so. I doodled a small little sketch here. And now I'm going to just kind of fade this out a little bit more. I use the red because it kind of shows up, I think, a little bit better than the. Let's see. Nope. Shows up a little bit better than. No, I guess it's fine. We'll do this. So, flower monster, I kind of think of. Uh, what's the movie, guys? Uh, Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> but I don't want to, like, totally go with that. Let's see a mouth here. So, it's kind of like. I guess I kind of start with sort of a scribble challenge when there's no, there's no, um, you know, character design to go from. So I'm just kind of going to have fun with it. Um, I also kind of want it to look like 
beautiful in some way, but also scary. So he's going to have like rooted fingers in his feet will be rooted. He just popped out of the ground. I think that's kind of fun. fun thing. Horse monsters usually have teeth. You ever see those crazy plants? Those like um, fly traps. I don't want that. Not a plant edition. It is a flower edition. So I'm gonna try to like you know disguise our man here with petals of some kind. And there's something off to the back over here. So I'm gonna kind of make that in a little view. I don't like that shape that it had. I might just also go right to to some inks with this. Assuming you can like hide as it looks like a flower, right? And maybe it's got like a tongue. It's those pollinators, things. I don't know anatomy of flowers right now. It's seven in the morning, guys. But So yeah, that question, as I draw here and think out loud, are you too old to draw? Um, of course not. I mean, I know, personally, I know um, some guys in their 80s right now that are still, that recently only started drawing in their 60s, I think. And, you know, they tried to put out some comic books and things like that. And uh, there's a guy named Dave that I know um, specifically. And, uh, you know, he tried to put out his comic book and it didn't, it wasn't that his artwork was bad. It's just that comic books are hard to do and break through. So, um, I think, you know, it's all just a matter of if you're here on YouTube and you're watching this and you're, and you're asking me questions about, are you too old and you have this desire, like you have this deep desire to do it, then I think you need to follow the desire to do it and stop being afraid weird connection with drawing a monster like, what are you afraid of are you afraid that you're not good enough are you afraid that your brain isn't working like that that was kind of the 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 feeling of the conversation i had was sort of like my brain is too old and doesn't want to learn you know um or He's afraid that his brain's too old and it wouldn't learn to draw. But I mean, as we've seen in these other streams and stuff here, like you just need to forget worrying about perfection and forget worrying about these little flowers. Oh goodness, um, you need to stop worrying about you know perfection and. Just get your pencil moving and learn to draw something small. Circles, squares, abstract stuff. Just whatever you're feeling. If you're like wanting to do a specific thing, like I want to be a fantasy painter, then you need to um, just start looking at those things and feel inspired by it. Don't feel like, oh, I suck. I'm never going to be as good as these people. Well, those people spent 40 50, 60 years sometimes working on their artwork. So don't measure yourself up against someone that's been doing it for quite a long time. Instead, just kind of go with the flow of what you think that's going to make you happy. Because I'll promise you this, if you start to draw, we talk all the time about it in the club. If you start to actually draw, then the more you draw, the more it just feels good. It starts to feel, even if your artwork is not publishable, you just feel like, oh, that was, that was, you find some like, I don't know, I don't know what the feeling is. 
satisfaction or mental clarity or maybe a little bit of self pride that you did that thing even if it's like a basic drawing that you won't show anybody else like you figured out some shading or texture um, like I still have those unlocks where I'm like oh man I finally figured that out or I figured out how to to move move a pencil a certain way or use a different tool or something like that so yeah and ages is like Larry said age is just you know I know you're going to hear that when you're old and everyone's telling you age is just a number let's run a marathon or whatever like sometimes your body hurts sometimes I mean I get it like, you're going to have arthritis and some people have disabilities uh, young and old um, but um, um, again I'll this looks like a dinosaur in the sky. Anyways, I just know from running the club, the Draw or Die Club here, that we have artists of all ages, youngsters, oldsters, oldsters, a bunch of oldsters. And uh, we have people with disabilities um, that can only draw a couple hours a day or maybe even just minutes before they're crippling and pain we have people that can't feel their arms and still draw i mean that's you know and they say they'll tell me like you know what thank you for pushing me to to i don't think i'm coming out of the butt i don't want that it's bad. um i think i come back to here like, kind of in the air he's being held up by just a little bit of like tiny little, tiny little twigs are holding him up. That's kind of cool. So that there. So yeah, I mean, I know that it's possible because I've seen so many people in different situations, disabilities and whatnot. So you're not too old. And there's so many good drawing channels here on YouTube. I mean, you can, we're in such a blessed time where you could just type in anything and learn it. You know, it's a cool looking monster. Look at that. I did that in less than 10 minutes there. Horses on their hand is going to be here. It's going to be like a, it's going to be like a, like a flower or something. There. Like more of those evil pollinator things like maybe he's like spraying dust see i just like let my imagination kind of i knew i was going to do this today so i was like oh man i can't wait i was walking the dog it's five something in the morning i'm like oh man i can't wait for that stream i want to draw this flower monster no we do these challenges occasionally and daily drawing club so um if you're not familiar with daily drawing club we have the daily drawing club you can join that for just five bucks a month there's the plugs coming in fast oh five bucks a month five bucks a month daily drawing prompts at 5 a.m Quarterly exclusive sticker. I gotta get on that. 10% off merch. Awesome artist community. Drawing. We have a Discord. That we'll check here in a second. Um, we leave. And I'm gonna stay here for another 17 minutes or so and keep working on this. I'm gonna go right to my inks here. So, as you saw, like I start out with just like some random shapes and then I start. I mean, you can't really go wrong. There's no wrong way to make a monster. It's a quote for social flats. Um, <laughs> I like to, when, when I'm doing something like this, I like to use my, I don't get a chance to use it very much, but I like my old school anchor brush. As it's, um, it has this nice texture to it, like an old school anchor. I like that. 
I like to play with the brush because it just feels good. I don't often get a chance to, to do artwork like this anymore, so it's scary. You know, scary stuff. It's fun. Now, when you stop kind of overthinking, learning your own art, very just becomes really putting your pants on in the morning. That's what I say. I do get that a lot as well when I'm talking to friends or whatnot, and they're like, "Do you you don't seriously draw? Do you draw every day?" And I'm like, "Yeah." draw every day and maybe not well it's my job now too but um but beyond that i mean even something like this no one this is just for you, for you guys myself i don't know what's going on here but and i you just have to reframe it when I reframe it, when someone's like, wow, you really draw every day, that's incredible. Like, that's crazy. Or they'll say, that's crazy. Like, you're insane. I'm like, what? Like, I don't know. You put your pants on every morning. You brush your teeth, hopefully. And um, you know, it's a routine. You might only do it for 10 minutes. Here we are for, I do these half an hour streams. I've been doing a half an hour stream or more every day, on every weekday for the past no, how long has it been now? Check the playlist. There's been quite a few. Okay, it's Peach time. Let's see if she comes, Miss Peach. Okay. Come on, I got a stream to do. Let's go. Right, I'm going to lock you out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Peach is like knocking on the door. These animals are afraid they're going to miss something. It always wipes my brain when that happens. I what I'm saying. But oh yeah, these streams come out 7 a.m. in the morning. I don't listen to anyone else, like really. Like I listen to the club members a little bit. I can't make everybody happy with my stream times. You know? Some people are like, man, if the streams were at night, I would do it. And then I start to then I start to go down that path of okay, I'll do some nighttime streams for you. And then people don't show up. And I'm like, well, what the heck? You know, I changed my schedule for people to show up and they didn't show up. No offense to anyone that said they would show up and they didn't. But then I'm like, well, wait a minute. That's not why I'm doing it, right? You start to get in this, this, this like kind of frame of mind of like, oh man, you know, I showed up to do this thing and people didn't watch. And then I have to, you have to kind of recenter yourself and go, that's not why I'm doing it. You know, I'm not doing it for people to show up and watch and become a giant YouTuber. I'm showing you, like, I'm trying to say, like, I'm trying to live my, live what I say. This is a good looking flower monster, DJ. What do you guys think? Uh, rate it one out of 10. Rate my flower monster. Um, in the chat. But yeah, I show up every day, not because I'm crazy and stuff. I, I want to show people, like, I didn't show up for a long time. I was busy. Oh, I'm so busy with other things. And I was, but I, but in my mind, I'm like, I want to, I want to do more. Show people, you know, it's not so hard to do. And then now the same conversation about drawing every day has turned into, wow, you stream all the time. How do you do that? Like that's insane. It's the same conversation. And I go, reframe that. Like reframe it. And think to yourself, especially if you're a work from home job or something like that. How many video meetings are you on? You know, all day. Thanks, guys. It's a ten. Ten. Ten star. 10 point flower monster. Yeah. But reframe your thinking as far as like, wow, that's hard. TJ's magical because he can go live and no, it's just like, a, 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 you, I, 
how many hour meetings did I spend at my old job where I'm just like on the call, like I'm not even like doing anything. I'm like listening. I'm thinking, wow, this could be a live stream. Like I could just live, I could be live streaming in this hour. And it goes by so fast. I set that timer. Now it's the 11 minutes left on the timer. But you're gonna see like, I got a pretty decent, according to the club members there, I got a 10, 10 star monster going on here at seven in the morning. I haven't drawn anything. This is the first thing I've drawn today. You know, uh, I'm not really following anatomy. These are just shapes and random, random, cool. You know, some fundamentals are there. That's it. The, the shading, the light source. That's what makes things look cool. That's a, you know, I think it was Todd McFarlane in like an old wizard magazine. It wasn't even wizard magazine. It was like hero magazine or something like that. He had an interview when he was back working on the Hulk before he was like huge on Spider-Man. He was just kind of breaking out. And he was like, you just got to make your art look cool. It doesn't have to be perfect. And he was drawing like the Hulk smashing through a brick wall. And he was notorious for like really over detailed BS, you know, like, like it was insane how many bricks he put in there. And he was just like, the more bricks, the more awesome it is. And I'm like, wow. I don't do overly detailed art like that, but it was a lesson of like, just make it look cool. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just learn how to make it look cool, you know, to yourself. That's sometimes you can judge your own art too much. That's the problem, but you know, anytime I'm drawing monsters, I'm thinking, oh man much trouble I got into in school drawing that. This is kind of like a missed how much trouble I got into drawing when I was a kid. I would draw the skulls and the Eddie from Iron Maiden put me in like a special class thinking that I was like a disturbed kid or something. How many kids don't make it out of that? You know? I think about that every time I draw a monster. I'm like, man, I was just wanting to draw some cool shit. And the rest of the world is going to judge your what you're doing. You know? Got to kind of just like block out all that noise. Do what makes you happy as much as you can. You know, don't like become a degenerate and don't be a bad human. But if you could take 10 minutes for yourself and draw something, that's, that's the way that blew someone else's mind. And they almost started crying when I was like, they were like, I just don't have any time. I'm just so bad. And I was like, mm. shrugged and they're like, what? And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, nothing and they're like well no what were you gonna say and I, and I said something to the effect of listen if you if you're so busy you can't take 10 minutes for yourself and have half an hour an hour for yourself then um um you're not that's not a real great life like you're something's wrong like you should probably take stock and kind of figure out like if you're not taking time for yourself even just a little bit of time doesn't I'm not saying be a selfish jerk I'm saying half an hour an hour there's some people that say take like three hours a day to yourself you know you can't imagine all that I'm always kind of busy but so this is the this is why I'm here it's kind of like just show up and show you like I've drawn that. I still have seven minutes to go. So, you know, like, I don't know. I might just, I don't know if I close my lines or not. Let's just close my lines real quick. And I'm just curious. Not like, I wasn't really picturing you know, coloring this. as a reference layer 
let's um just fill in some gray Pretty much I'll take my gouache brush, pump that up, I'm just gonna fill this in. Like this, and then I'm just gonna kind of get in there and get some like dirty green color. And I'm just gonna kind of paint it out a little bit. Quick and dirty. Uh, make that brown too. It'll just kind of fade down into brown. That's kind of cool. Now, I mean, don't judge yourself too if you're like, I can't draw that fast. Like I've been doing it for a long time, so you know, don't don't overthink it. Here comes the cat. All right, this cat runs this house. Just gonna throw some just random colors in here. I want a little bit more white, but I'm gonna start with the pink. It's also just an experiment to kind of like, I got to work on some penciling today. I kicked my imagination around talk to you guys and uh, it's a nice um, way to start your day I'm not gonna finish this you know I think I don't have to be technically at work until like 8 39 you know I don't have to I don't have to start my other job today, and there's no other streams that I know of that I have to do, so maybe I'll finish this one up this morning just for the just for the thumbnail too, you know. But curious, let's take a peek real quick at the Discord. This is for the Daily Drawing Club. Let's see what's going on. See what you guys drew up yesterday. We did the fundamentals. 10 minutes of fundamentals. Damn, did that. Good guy. Good shading. I was thinking about that all day yesterday, too. The primitives that I. Were. Sarah. Joey. Yeah. We did primitives yesterday. A piece of toast. Like, see video. All right. I like seeing more and more. Steph, you know. She got in there first again. She's like a trooper. That's that's cute. That's definitely a, a flower monster. A piece of toast. That's wonderful. See, got the same kind of feeling going with the uh, roots. So draw your um, draw your drawings. The Daily Drawing Club has a main chat there, and then we also have finished art. So if you're not in the Daily Drawing Club, you can also just put your this guy, this is a nice uh, soggy demo there. People post in their finished art. Don't be intimidated. Get in here and, and you know, post your art. There's some great, great things going on in the community there. Tool Talk. I guess these are really hard to find now. Ken, I think Ken is in here, actually. These rapidographs are really hard to find now. I used to rock those a lot, so love those great so that's the discord that we have there's a, there should be a link in the description of this video uh, if not do the rewatch and you'll find it or watch a previous video get those comments and you'll see it you'll see it one minute 58 seconds left on my clock and I'm, never, I'm just kind of blending in my not perfect, I don't care, you know. I don't care. It's 
not about being perfect. Just kind of get in there. Put some color on these. Matter of fact, like it's a monster, so we gotta have some like red. Also like blood, blood petals or something. I don't want to get too bloody. We give them like a red. Red eye. Red eyes. And go up there and just change that color real quick. Um, teeth gotta have some like white to them. Um, yeah. Yeah. Some red on those pollinators, some white on those pollinators as well. Pollinators? I don't know. Yeah. And it has like a misty misty clouds so that's easy to do with this brush like well that's a little too big a little bit smaller there it's like puff of the dust oh there's like that show on hbo with them. or the last of us do they do that never know where you're gonna be Inspired. Give me one minute. Not bad. Not bad. Drawing for a little bit here. Color. Yeah. If you ever have ever have any doubts about drawing every day, just ask the club member because. Even if you don't technically get the drawing every single day, I hope you do. If you're drawing a couple times a week or, you know, you're setting some time for yourself, that's all that really matters. That's all that I want people to do. You know, this is looking pretty cool, guys. All right. All right. What else? What else? Join the Daily Drawing Club if you're not in that. 5 a.m. I draw the V Friends daily comic strip. It's much cuter artwork than this. It's not, it's not evil. You know, okay. Very cute stuff. And, uh, today we drew the flower monster. Check some of the other streams if you like streams like this. Watch the replays. Uh, as a matter of fact, I had someone say, like, you should just put these in a. Um, like a podcast list. And I think I'm just going to throw them over in the podcast list too because some people just listen um, since I do a lot of talking. Um, so I'm still trying to figure this out, you know. I don't, I'm not, I'm building the channel up here, but I'm also, you know, not, it's not my main priority, but um, it's nice that it seems to be growing. I'm pretty, I feel like having the name Draw and Die doesn't help me too much because. You know algorithms and people scary and but i'm not your typical you know drawing inspirational channel just put a little bit of brown on me that looks pretty good all right i like it ken gets up at 4 a.m to draw that's amazing i don't think i'm functional at 4 a.m Technically not functional at 5 a.m. either. I just kind of stagger around and feed my feed my animals. You know, let's get back in here. Sarah got hers in. Dan got his in. Again, like really soft penciling there, man. I like that. This is a good one. Great stuff. Sarah, awesome. It's like a Oh, I like the touch of the ghosts or the souls of the traps. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever that is in the background. It's fun. Yeah, don't forget. Don't be afraid. So let's just, let's wrap this up. Are you too old to draw? Don't be afraid. Like, afraid of this monster. Just pick up a pencil and draw every day. All right, guys. 
that is the stream I'm calling it today I might stay here a little bit a couple minutes and just finish this one up so thanks for watching <laughs>